Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. In this video we're looking at the uh, Hornby Class 29. It's uh, D6129 and it's in uh, BR Blue with full yellow ends. Uh, this particular model is uh, Hornby R2238A and um, it was released uh, in the I think around 2007-2008 kind of time. Uh, it's currently not an available model but you can pick it up pretty cheaply on eBay. Uh, there are a couple of different uh, class 29 versions so um, you just want to be careful that you, you get this particular one. This one is the one that's made in China and it's um, it's actually a very smooth uh, running model and I think I picked this up on eBay just over a year ago and it was uh, pretty cheap. So um, we'll do a quick uh, pan around view of this particular model and then we'll do some speed tests and uh, then uh, we'll wrap things up for the video. So you can see there, it has the numbered head codes, kind of in transition. It's got full yellow ends. It does not have a NAM pocket. It's got the usual Hornby large tension lock coupling. You can see there, the detail is pretty decent. Show you the roof detail. And I'll put it back around. You can see the buffer detail on the front and the rear, as well as the detail here, the boogies. See that the buffer isn't very well detailed, but it does have a couple of stickers on the front and some paint. Okay, so now we're going to do the uh, speed performance test. Um, this test is pretty simple. Um, we'll start off running as slow as the model will go. And remember we're using a uh, DC uh, power controller, we're not using DCC. And this model has not been chipped or anything like that, it's just running on a regular DC system. Um, the type of power controller we're using today is a uh, Triangle Lion Brothers, um, really old controller. And the details for it will be displayed on the screen below. And so the way the speed test works is we'll go as slow as we can, uh, forward and back around the uh, tunnel. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll to 25%, 50%, 75%, and then uh, full power, just so you can see um, how it performs. So we'll start.
So as you saw there from the speed test, um, the uh, D6129 is uh, extremely smooth and can run really, really slowly. And keep in mind it's on DC using a 50, 60 year old power transformer. Um, just on the left here though, I have a another class 29. It's the original Hornby class 29 uh, made in the UK. And it's uh, running number is uh, 6124. You can see there that the uh, it's got um, additional yellow ends, but it um, isn't quite as good in terms of the detail. And if I pull it up here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There's not quite as much roof detail, and some of the detail on the side is a little different. But overall, you can see that. It's not too bad. Now one of the biggest differences you can tell between these two models is the one on the left, um, the older one, it doesn't run as well as the um, as the China made version. And that's probably because it has a much older motor, even after it's been maintained. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.